Now that our textures are not overlapping, we can combine them. Remember the lollipop, the front and the back was the same thing. We overlapped one with the other. So if I paint on the front, I'll have the same on the back. We can do the same thing if we're using symmetrical objects. So the left and the right, they can be placed on top of each other. And we'll do that in future videos when we get to characters and more complex things. I'm just going to add some textures so that we're not working with some blank thing. One of the best environment maps that you can use here that can get you pretty similar to Unreal Engine Lights is Tomoko Studio. Another good one is Studio 2. Now that I placed some textures here, I'm going to use Texture Set Combiner. And Texture Set Combiner is created by Christina Abma. I'll leave this link down in the description and you can get this. You can get it for free, but go ahead and give her a little contribution because this is amazing. It's an amazing tool. You'll get a folder with this and all you have to do is run it. And these will actually give you the instructions on what to do. So if I come here, file export textures, uh, come here all the way up to the top, select document channels normal with AO with alpha, dilation plus transparent, and leave this at 16. I choose my folder, select this folder and export. If I open folder, here are all my textures for those two parts. So I got my normal, metallic, it's got height, roughness. So mesh name, the prefix that you're going to have. So I'm just going to call it lollipop. So source folder is where you just exported your files. And destination folder is where you want your merge textures to be. All you have to do is press combine files channel pack for UE fair oh yeah combine files if I go into my folder there's my combined files right there we have two different normal maps this one is for WebGL and this one is for DirectX the only th the only thing I really need in to take in are these three these three are gonna be enough to take into Unreal Engine if I import my low poly mesh where both objects are separate, this is what's going to happen. In Unreal Engine, it's going to give me separate pieces and two separate materials. So I want to merge them together before I import them into Unreal Engine. So to merge them, I'm going to jump into Maya. And if you come to Display and you select Assign Materials, you see that they both have different materials assigned to them. You can assign different materials by selecting one of your meshes, right-clicking, and you can't see it on my screen, but if you go all the way down, you can assign a new material. You can change your name of your materials by going to your Attribute Editor. Select my poly. So here's my material. Maya won't let you use the same name that your mesh name. So I'll just go and say Lollipop M for material and stick and for material. Now I can select both of them, shift right click, and come down to combine. Now I have lollipop with my two materials. I'll select this lollipop, come into file, export selection. Make sure your smoothing groups are on, tangents and binormals, and smooth mesh. You don't need to triangulate, this will be done automatically. Save this as my lollipop merged, export selection. Now when I import in Unreal, I get my merge tool and I get my materials. I really don't need these materials as I'm, create, I'm going to create my own. So I'll just select both and delete them. Now I right click, create a new material, double click. Now I can import my textures. I can simply drag them. Remember, I've only selected three textures, and I can drag them in into my material. Now I have my base color here, if I expand this a little bit, it shows me base color, my occlusion, 
roughness and metallic so my base color is going to go into base color my normal map is going to go into my normal map and then my occlusion roughness metallic is going to go in this order so my red channel is going to be my occlusion and with occlusion my green channel is going to be my roughness and my blue channel is going to be my metallic press apply save now I open up my lollipop and I have two material slots now all I have to do is select my material and press this arrow can drag this into my scene and you got your rotten alien <laughs> lollipop <laughs> in Unreal Engine of course now you can check if uh, the texture looks good or not and you can go back into Unreal and make some changes and bring it back in and that's how you do it uh, in future videos you're gonna focus on more complex shapes characters and animation now this is a static mesh and if you want animation uh, you can cre create animation in Unreal but uh, if you want animation on a character, you're going to need a skeleton. And we'll talk about that in future videos. So if you like this video, click on the like, subscribe, click on the bell symbol for new updates on new videos, support me on Patreon, and I'll see you in the next video.